All right, friends, welcome to my introductory tutorial to Flip a Clip, the sort of free app for making stop motion animation frame by frame on your phone. The free part I want to explain really quickly. I'm using the free version, which is advertising supported and also has some limitations. I'll edit out the ads when they pop up, but I want you to know I'm not making any using any techniques or features that aren't available in the free version the limitations that i've discovered so far as far as the free version are these you can only onion skin one frame back at a time and i'll explain what onions onion, onion skinning is when we get to that point um, you can put a grid in which really helps with guidance and figuring out where to position your artifacts in an animation but you can't change the size of the grid. And lastly, you can only have three different layers. If you pay, you can buy these individual features as premiums, or you can pay a certain amount and get the whole, um, the whole package. But I'm working with the free version. Enough of that. Let's get started. I'm on the projects page. Tap the plus button to make a new project. First thing we want to do is to... Uh, name it. I'm going to call this one Blobby because I can. Tap the done button. Choosing your background is kind of fun. Uh, they've got some preset backgrounds in there or lots of interesting textures to choose from and patterns. If none of those are appealing to you, you can tap the paint bucket on the right side, add a solid color. You could tap the image button on the middle right and pull an image from your camera roll or you can tap the picture itself and take a live photo with your phone. I'm going to go with a paper texture. Canvas size itself. This, these are the proportions and dimensions of the canvas size set up for all the various possible popular social media platforms. I'm going to roll with just YouTube and be happy. Uh, frames per second. You can Google this, friends, but they've also included a really useful tool to visualize the difference between 12 frames per second, which is the default, one frame per second, or at the top end, 30. I'm going to keep it at 12. Understand that in order to get one second of footage at 30 frames per second, you have to build 30 frames, so it takes longer. But the reward is you'll get smoother animation. I'll stick with 12 and be happy. Tap the check mark in the top right corner. Tap on create project. And here we are. I'm using a double pinch to zoom and pan, which is very useful for me. I am going to choose a drawing tool by tapping on the pen right here and I will get a pop-up below. I'm going to work with the brush. I encourage you to explore the different drawing tools, but in the interest of your time, I'm going to go with the brush. I'm going to pick a brush color by tapping on the square in the lower left. I will choose purple. You do get an option to change opacity, which is really interesting from an artistic perspective. So I encourage you to explore that. I'm going to go with 100% opacity, make it nice and solid, tap the X in the top left. And then last thing I'm going to do before we start animating is to tap and hold this circle that's between the brush and the purple square on the left side. And you'll notice when I tap and hold and drag up, brush, goes, brush size goes up, brush size goes down, all measured in pixels. Let's go with like... Yeah, that size looks good. So I'm only using my finger. You can use a stylus for this app as well, but if you don't have one, whatever, use your finger. You will notice that I just tapped one mark on the uh, frame. There is an undo button right there. I'm gonna tap the undo button once. My arrow will go away. I'm gonna tap it again. My blue dot goes away. There's a redo button next to it but there's nothing to redo now but if I tap that it disappears tap the redo button my arrow is back okay 
down below right here. These are your frames. Right now, there's only one frame that I have added. But if I tap the plus button, I will add a second frame. There it is. There's my second frame right there. Tap the plus button again, and I've got a third frame. Tap the plus button again, I've got a fourth frame. I think you understand what's happening. But I want to show you what's going on here with these transparent arrows that are hiding. This is called onion skinning in the world of animation. And each frame, except for the first one, will have an onion skin of the previous frame. It helps you as far as positioning. Now, if you choose to pay, you can have those onion skins go back more than one frame at a time. But in the free version, you only get one frame. And that's the one that we'll be working with. So you can see how that would solve as a useful guide. I am going to do one more thing before we really dig in. And that's over here on the right. I'm going to push the play button. Fun times. OK, let's stop that. I'm going to clean up what I have here, and we will animate. Tapping and holding on an individual frame gives me access to some tools, including copy-paste. But I'm just, for now, going to just hit that trash can, remove that one, tap and hold, trash can, remove that one, tap and hold. You know what I'm up to here. Remove that. And on this last frame, I can't remove it, but I, because it won't let me, but I can remove the contents of the frame. OK, so let's start with the bouncing ball. And I'm going to start it in the top left corner and have it just kind of peeking out a little bit. Plus, add in a second. Plus, add in a third. Plus. Now, if I put one in here and I don't like the position of it, no worries. Just hit the undo button. Add it where you want it. And plus. This part from here on, I'm going to fast forward for a bit, friends. Keep following. All right, and we're back live. And you can see I already put a bounce in there. Let's push the play button on the right side, see what we have. Okay, I've animated. If you followed along, you've animated as well. I'm going to give you one animation technique here, and then we're going to wrap this up. So if I keep going, right, and I'm going to have my ball go back down, it's going to bounce off the bottom of the frame, and I'm going to do a pinch zoom here so you can really see this. Let me get one more in. Okay. So watch this area of it. Here comes the bouncing ball. One, two. One of the techniques that animators developed a long time ago is the idea that when an object hits something, you want to show it visually squishing. So let's go back a couple frames. And I am going to put in a solid one there. But then when I get to this frame, I'm going to try with my finger to draw kind of a smushed one. I am not an artist, friends. You can tell by watching. Don't stress out. Although if you are, we'll just be jealous. OK, I'm going to call that a squishy one, right? Here's another squishy one right here. These are not perfect. You can do better. OK, now as after it has bounced, right? There's our bounce, bounce bounce. In our next frame, we're going to try and return this to be a normal shape. And now let's see how we do. I'm not going to get hired by Pixar or Walt Disney, but I hope you've appreciated this one simple technique of making your animation a little bit more visually interesting to your viewers. I'll press that stop button. And now, friends, let's say our animation is done. We're happy. I'm going to tap in on the three circles in the top right corner, 
go down to make movie and all of these are set uh, I'm gonna change though from an mp4 to a gif because I can look at it it tells you at the bottom it's three seconds long how many frames you have and what your frames per second are the flip a clip watermark if you choose to turn that off it automatically asks you to buy it so you know what you need to do there keep using the free one or go buy it it's up to you I'm gonna tap on make movie it will turn away and there is my gif suitable for sharing uploading to Google Classroom if that's what you're up to. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day enjoying Flip a Clip.